So let's talk about something extremely controversial. No, I'm not talking about tubeless tires versus tubed or disc brakes versus rim brakes. I'm not talking about e-bikes versus analog bikes. I'm not even talking about Lance Armstrong's doping case. What I'm going to talk about today are turbo trainers. Now I know they're not for everybody. Some people really love to get outside and I completely get it and I understand. But me being someone that has benefited from the use of a trainer, I wanted to share several good reasons of why I think they're awesome and a couple of reasons why they suck. Welcome to T1 Adventures, I'm Silas and let's dive into this love-hate world of turbo trainers. I will give you four good reasons why I think you should, and I'll let Virgil Dean give you two reasons why he thinks they're bad. All right, let's dive in. First up is train year round, regardless of the weather. It could be snowing, it could be raining, it could be scorching heat. It doesn't really matter because you can train all year round with a turbo trainer indoors. This is especially beneficial for folks who live where there may be really long winters or the weather itself is just extremely unpredictable. So the second reason is not necessarily great to hear, but you can train through injury or illnesses. Even if you're injured or recovering from an illness, the trainer will help you maintain your fitness level. It allows you to exercise in a controlled environment, which could alleviate extra stress on any type of injured body part that you may have. Thirdly, you can target specific cycling techniques. Turbo trainers are a great tool for helping you focus on certain areas of your cycling technique. For an example, you can use a turbo trainer to help with your cadence drills or uh, delivery of smooth and steady power or even do hill climbs. The last thing I want to mention is training effectively by doing structured workouts and intervals. Nowadays, most of your trainers are smart trainers. They give you force feedback of some sort. Some even give you a road feel as if you were going over cobbles and things like that. So they've come a long way with how they behave and react and in the capabilities of delivering resistance when you need it. There are several programs out there, including Zwift, Trainer Road, and a handful of others that strategically plan workouts catered to you so you can develop the techniques and the form you need for your next event or race. What's up, everybody? It's Virgil Dean here, and I'm here to share with you two reasons why I think those turbo trainer thingies are junk. All right, first up from me, one of the reasons why I think it sucks is because these things can be noisy. People around you don't want to hear these things. They're all clankety clangety and some of the older models are louder than a 1970 Plymouth Cuda with glass pack exhaust. All right, and my second reason is just the sheer fact that you're sitting somewhere in your basement, probably, possibly your garage or a little closet somewhere because you just don't want people to see it. And it's not like being outside in the real world. It kind of sucks. It's less engaging and, you know, it's horrible. Let's just face it. You're not really moving or going anywhere. Me personally, I just like to be out there sucking in some of that fresh air from like those diesel trucks that try to roll coal on you when they roll past you really fast. I will say that there are some platforms out there like Zwift and Trainer Road that you know try to make things a little bit easier on you and give you a little bit more interaction with whatever pops up on your computer screen. But for me, all it's doing is making me feel like I'm playing a game of Super Mario Kart without the cart and I'm on a bicycle instead. All right, now that's my two cents on why I do not like doing the trainer thing at all. So, I'm out of here. Remember, kids, raise hell, praise Dale. Ooh, doggy. There you have it. Those are my opinions of why I think trainers are awesome and why I use one year-round. And Virgil Dean's opinion on why he thinks they suck. So, if you would, leave a comment below showing that you've made it to the end of this video. Comment whether you feel that it was right for Lance Armstrong to be stripped of his wins. This coat is actually really amazing. 
I want to thank you for watching my video and remember the journey doesn't end here. Keep exploring, keep pedaling, and we'll catch you on the next adventure. Cheers. Now I will say that this trainer thing in Grand Theft Auto is a lot of fun. Oh, you know who you messing with? Come on. It's almost like I'm in the game.